Hi, George Northwood here from isolation. Ask me anything. Let's do this. Ooh, um, my dog. Deliveroo. Deliveroo. It's got to be the 90s, but 22 is when I got into hairdressing, so it was that whole 90s thing that led me into it. I actually went into a salon in Bristol and got a Rachel cut and colour. It was basically a girl's haircut and colour, but I've got such fond memories and, you know, that Rachel cut was such a thing for the 90s. And I'm so honoured that, you know, Alexa's cut has been, people have said it's as iconic, which is, you know, an amazing thing. Probably more of an old soul, but like to think I'm a young soul. You do something modern, but age appropriate. Usually a drastic change and losing layers, I would say. Uh, smart, cash, cool. I wouldn't look too street, which I tend to do quite a bit. I'd actually throw on a loafer, a pair of sort of chinos or jeans rolled up, a t-shirt and maybe a cardigan preppy kind of Margaret Howe vibe, not my Yeezy vibe. My self-care, like, you know, massages, personal training, that sort of stuff. Ooh, uh, this is kind of what I'm all about. So party hair should be modern with an element of undone to it. Slightly messy, slightly tousled, or just a slight element of imperfection. Is it weird, because it's a bit old lady, but I don't think it is anymore. I really like lavender. It's relaxing. I actually put drops in my bath. I'd come back as my dog, because she has a better life than me. Ooh, there's a real sweet spot, and it only lasts for about two weeks. Just below the brow, it's eye skimming, so you can basically just open your eyes. It doesn't hit the top of your lashes, it just misses them. It's those sexy eyes that are kind of looking from beneath the fringe. Always step outside your comfort zone. I'd like to have loads and loads of silver hair that I could grow really long and look like Jesus. If you want a sharper jaw, I always say like a, a bob with sharper lines would be really good. I also think if you want better cheekbones, it's about nice shape around the face and kind of, you know, contouring the shape. If you want more height, it's about kind of volume and elongating the face, so volume on top. I'd like to be a really good ballet dancer. Actually, I've got really an opinion on this. It can't be greasy. It can't look oily, it's gotta look really clean because when you're not well, you don't wash your hair. And it can't be too messy, it's gotta be undone, not messy. There's a big difference. Undone is just a bit disheveled. Messy, dragged through a hedge when you're past 32. Forget it. Authenticity. Actually, patience, because I'm not very patient, but it's really got me places. And all the people I know that are overachievers or achieve a lot aren't very patient. So I want to be patient, but I want to be patient with my grandchildren. I don't want to be patient now. I want things to happen now. Ooh, two extremes. You either go really sleek, chic, centre parting ballerina bun or you go towsily, undone, ethereal, wispy, bits coming out, vibes. To come out, be yourself, it's all gonna be okay, you'll be accepted, just don't wait until you're like 20 something to sort of come out and be who you are. Thrill seeker. New York, because I always want to be where I'm not. Gold. Buck. Three quarters full. First 40 years of my life spend. 
the last one year, two years, save. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, ring the bell, come back again soon. Thank you.